Singapore isn't the first place that comes to mind when thinking about hiking. But that doesn't mean that options don't exist. A densely populated island nation with no mountains, Singapore is nonetheless home to pockets of lush primary rainforests. These are carefully protected and conserved as nature reserves, with hiking trails running through them. Instead of the highly trafficked main path, I decided to veer into a longer, narrower side trail and was soon swallowed by the forest. So in my 15 years of living here, this is the first time I've ever been hiking. I'm just not good with hot weather, you know, but I guess my experience with this hike will inform my decision on whether I want to do any more hikes around this part of the world. It's still very early in the morning, so it's not bad so far. The forest is quite beautiful. The thick foliage was extensive shelter for the forest floor, allowing the trails to stay cool well into the morning. The sun gradually rose, casting the higher layers of leaves in brightening hues of green, while much of the ground remained in shadows. A little hut signal an occasion for a brief rest, and unexpectedly also provided an ethereal view of the distant city. So I'm already sweating a bunch. It's not hot per se, it's just that it's kind of, you know, there's no, there's no breeze and it's very humid. 
so it doesn't feel too bad, but I'm starting to get sticky. This part of the trail that I'm hiking is called the Cave Path, and I soon discovered why. Upon the face of the hill, just off the path, were two gated up caves. It turns out that these caves were once used as storage spaces by Japanese soldiers during World War II. Talk about an unexpected bit of history. Another small hut for another brief rest. And then, an uphill track towards rejoining the main path. Talk about making an impression. Thankfully, the rest of the path was decidedly quieter. Chancing upon another side path supposedly leading to a view of a quarry, I decided to detour and explore it. Unexpectedly, the path ended in front of a gated facility. It turned out that you could get a top-down view of the quarry from outside the facility here. After admiring the scene, I headed back to the main path. It was time to hit the summit. Two paths become available at the final ascent. A straight set of stairs or a winding slope. I decided on the stairs for the climb. You hear that? The sound of the crickets. It's so intense here. And before I knew it, I had arrived. That was actually a really short climb. Pretty sure we didn't start from ground zero because this is 160 meters. That should still take quite a while. But it's like one admittedly long flight of stairs and then we're up here. 
It may be the highest point in Singapore, but at 160 meters, it really isn't anything to write home about. There was no panorama, no view, only a simple marker and a summit hut. Bukit Timah really is about the journey. With no real reason to linger on the summit, I decided to start leaving before it gets hotter. Returning via the main path, it was a leisurely downhill stroll. In no time at all, I found myself back at the entrance. But there was still one final detour in the plan. The minute you leave the cover of the trees and it's boom, you bear the full brunt of the photon flux. Oh man, it's hot. Whew.